this is dr shrinam bansal so today we will do the spline of the femoral head see firstly it this is the profunda femoris artery which is a branch of femoral artery itself it give two branches on the anterior side here it is lateral circumflex femoral artery and on the posterior side here this is the dotted artery is the middle medial circumflex femoral artery which is of utmost importance okay it runs in the obturator externus muscle okay so uh, this is the lateral circumflex femoral artery and medial circumflex femoral artery now these two arteries make a ring that is called the extra capsular ring arterial ring extra capsular arterial ring is made by medial circumflex femoral artery and lateral circumflex femoral artery okay then these this ring gives the this ring gives the epiphyseal arteries these are epiphyseal arteries or retinacular arteries these are of four group lateral medial anterior and posterior the lateral group is the most important it makes the subsynovial ring okay it makes the subsynovial ring then we have trochanteric this is the trochanteric and cruciate anastomosis are the collateral spline trochanteric anastomosis is formed by the superior gluteal artery and lateral circumflex or medial circumflex femoral artery cruciate anastomosis is formed by inferior gluteal artery and medial circumflex femoral artery okay superior gluteal and inferior gluteal both are branches of internal iliac artery which is a branch of common iliac artery okay then we have artery of ligamentum teres which is of utmost importance in the pediatric population okay this is the branch of obturator artery then we have acetabular blood supply okay acetabular blood supply it is mainly by the obturator artery which gives two branches obturator artery which gives two branches pubic branches and acetabular branches these are two branches of obturator artery for the acetabula then superior gluteal artery gives deep branches to the acetabula so this was the blood supply of femur and acetabulum femur medial circumflex femoral artery and lateral circumflex femoral artery medial circumflex is important and is and runs on the posterior surface these both make extra capsular arterial ring and then the this ring forms a retinacular or epiphyseal branches okay lateral group is the most important of all the four groups that is lateral medial anterior and posterior it makes a lateral group makes a subsynovial ring okay subsynovial ring is formed by the lateral group then we have trochanteric and cruciate anastomosis trochanteric anastomosis is formed by superior gluteal and lateral circumflex or medial circumflex and um, cruciate anastomosis is formed by inferior gluteal artery and medial circumflex femoral artery